So if you've been working with DaVinci for a while, you've probably come across a number of errors. Um, one of them is a failure to render out a clip. So I've started coming across this error the last two weeks and I haven't found anyone on the internet that's been able to fix it specifically for the type of file that I want to render to. Um, I've found a solution to it and we're just going to dive into it quickly. Um, I'm going to link the two other videos that I found on the internet that have suggestions on how to do it. Um, if my way doesn't work, then you might want to try their way and hopefully between the three that I've found, um, one of them solves it for you. So let's not waste any time, let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. Um, so you'll see if I go to the Deliver tab, I had multiple fails um, rendering this and then I figured out um, how to fix it and I've had nothing but successful renders since then. Um, so the problem for me, um, it might be different for you guys, I was making um, subscriber and follower notifications for my Twitch stream. Uh, quick plug, OSP slash Enigma is my Twitch stream. Um, so, basically, I had no problems with this top flame, that flame that goes across, and I had no problems with, um, can you delete? And I had no problems with the border itself, but as soon as I added in this bottom flame that's behind the head, um, this it doesn't like rendering this bottom flame and I found it I, I tried to copy it into different projects um, I tried multiple things that I found that I've I've linked below um, but basically yeah as soon as I try to render these flames it doesn't work I'll show you right now All right so I'm gonna try um, I'm gonna try to render this bottom half um, which used to give me all the errors just to show you the error that we're talking about so I'm gonna just render this in outrange here um, I've got it set to failed test render. These are my settings to export with transparency. Um, QuickTime, GoPro Cineform, RGB 16, export alpha has to be ticked on and then I do best quality. So I'm going to add this to the render queue. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that makes sense. Seven clips. I'm going to start this render. Um, so it's just re rendering this bottom part. And this is the uh, this is the failure error that you guys are probably getting. Render job 15 failed. This current clip could not be processed. The fusion composition on the current frame or clip could not be processed successfully. All right, <clears throat> so that's what the problem is. We get this error. I don't know how to fix it, and it's only when I have the flames in there. If I get rid of these flames, and then I try render the exact same thing, add to render queue, and I start this render, replace it. Um, no problems at all. And I'm hoping that this verifies that. Yep, so there you go. My render's complete, no problems at all as soon as I get rid of those flames. So I'm just going to control Z, add them back in. Um, so the solution that I found is quite simple, which is all you do is everything that you're trying to render, just select it all. So I assume that you, if you had audio, you would also select the audio. Um, you're going to pick it all and you're just going to put it into a compound clip and it's easy as that. And then you're going to press create um, and then it's all going to go into one compound clip which if you want to make adjustments to it you still can. You can still zoom it in and out, move its position, blah 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 blah. I'm um, pretty sure you can even put effects on it if you needed to. Um, at this point, effects, open effects, you could put a, a blur on it. So you can still do plenty of things to it, but just make sure that you've got the relative positioning of the things together first. Um, and then I'm going to go to export this, so exactly the same. I'm going to call this one successful, successful test render. Um, all the same settings, and I'm going to add it to my render queue again, except this time it's rendering one clip, but you can see it still, it has the flame, and the flame was the problem. So I'm going to start this render here. And boom, there you go. Um, so that's the job completed, and I can't really show you the file because it exports to a file that's not supported except inside of Streamlabs. Um, but I can show you what it looks like now that it's been rendered out into my Streamlabs with my alert box. So obviously I've made some adjustments to it. Um, but yeah, you can see that it works now, and the file works. Obviously, um, before that was not possible. Um, the renders that I was getting was just the box or just the flame. So there you go, that's the quick and easy solution. Um, if you actually do try this for a big project, I'd love to see or hear if, if putting 
the whole project into a compound clip solves the problem for you. Um, if it doesn't, then I'm sorry. Um, if it does, that would be excellent to know because I think that there's lots of people that are trying to solve this error um, and it's been going on for a while now. So yeah, leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe and share this video around to anyone that um, needs this kind of help. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out. Don't give a damn cause I'm on route Coming for the crown, tell me who I gotta run through, uh I was in the room with the one two Did it myself, made it happen cause I want to, uh People always tell me what they gon' do I don't sweat about it, I just move like a boss move, uh Man, it's really, really been long, dude But I'm here now and there's nowhere they can run to, uh On the money, man